How's it going guys, Zabby here, and today we're going to be doing episode number two of the No Money Spent series. Now, we are going to be going to Rocky Lake. So at the end of last video, I showed you guys what I bought. I will quickly go over it again. Basically, we upgraded our setup a little bit. At level 10, we unlocked some new lines, so we bought a new reel. We also got a bigger uh, keep net here. We actually got a stringer just so it's a little bit bigger. And then we also have the OmniFlow 450 and the Crucian Hunter. Again, if you want to double check this setup, you can pause now or you can go back to the last video where I explained it all. We're going to be using 1-0 barbless hooks with small minnows and we also brought some artificial salmon eggs. And then we're going to be using the barbless narrow spoon 1-0 hook size with our value spin. And this is what we're going to use to go to Rocky. This is going to be definitely a good enough setup for us to go there. Let's go ahead and sell this line, but we're pretty much good to go now. Uh, I have a couple extra hook sizes and stuff, but I'm not really going to try and complete the missions here uh, other than maybe the Tyranna Trout. But let's go ahead, head to Rocky Lake. We need to buy an advanced license. So let's go ahead and do that. 600 bucks, not bad. We still have 8,000 left and we're going to just go ahead and travel over to rocky right now welcome to rocky lake everybody come on over to fantastic fishing make sure you're in the prime time the peak time of the day and all we're going to do is fish over here guys now there is a spot over there as well that we can fish but for right now i'm just going to fish right here and remember we do have a rod stand now we're going to be using multiple rods to try and speed things up a little bit so i'm going to get the uh the bobber here, the float rod. I'm going to set mine to 60 centimeters. I will throw a conversion up for you guys. We're using the 1-0 hooks with small minnows. And I'm just going to cast out towards this tree right here. And just kind of cast out in this general area. It's not a huge deal where you cast. But that's where we're going to go. And I'm just going to up the drag a little bit. But it should be good there. Go ahead and throw that down. And just make sure to keep an eye on your bobber, guys. All right? And then we're also going to do some lure fishing. And all I'm going to do is cast over in this general area here. You can cast in the very back corner. You can cast right here. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to use twitching here just because I find that a little bit easier. I'm going to use the auto hook, uh, set the hook method, which I'm going to be doing a video on too. If you guys are wondering, but it's pretty easy. I just want to make a video quickly explaining it. And there you go. Just like so we get a fish on. This place is really good for XP, guys. You do have the ability to get some uniques, which is nice and handy. You also have the ability to get some trophies. But the fights here are not going to be easy, guys. If you want to come back here in the future and upgrade your setup, definitely do that. But we're going to have some good fights here. It's going to take a while to bring some of these fish in, especially if they're half decent size. So just be ready for that. But we're going to get good XP. We're going to get good money. And we're going to get to Emerald quicker, which is the ultimate goal here. Try and bring this trout in. Hopefully we get a nice cutthroat and you can see here we actually have one on the float rod as well uh, one tip i'm going to give you guys if you're new to the game is just worry about the fish you have on don't worry about like i got a fish on my bobber don't i'm not going to worry about that this one's a good size you can tell by the fight it's bringing so just worry about the fish you have on there's always more fish so don't worry about it too much oh i actually lost that one that sucks and again trout fishing not easy guys you will lose tension if you do lose tension like that just run backwards like this and you'll be able to keep the tension up or you can look down at the ground like this and this will definitely be easier to help keep them in now it's a little bit cheesy we actually caught a white bass which is surprising we'll keep casting over there until we get a trout all right guys we got a fish on the narrow spoon here hopefully it's a decent size it doesn't look too too big or anything but it will give you an idea of what xp you're going to be getting here with some of these catches so this is a young cutthroat trout this is basically the smallest fish you can get so don't worry about that too much uh, let me see if I can get something like a, a Colorado Golden Trout or even a Half Decent Rainbow. All right, guys, we got one on the float rod, and it looks to be a pretty good size, which you love to see. Now, I really do like this rod a lot, but again, it's going to be very, very tough fights here. Don't expect to just bring him in super easy. But remember, the main goal is to get to Emerald Lake as fast as possible so we can start making some serious cash and leveling up decently quick. But let's try and bring this bad boy in. Hopefully, I don't lose this one. Looks like a half decent sized rainbow. Definitely is a rainbow. Or a big cutthroat. There we go. Half decent sized cutthroat, guys. 58 XP, $157. Not too shabby. Wait till you guys see the Colorado Golden Trout and the rainbows. Here we go, guys. We got a Colorado Golden Trout on the float rod. Now, this is just a normal one. It's 72 XP and $82. So the XP here is just so much better than it was at Lone Star. And honestly, a trout, fi trout fishing is a lot more fun. That was a pretty far cast. We'll leave it out there just because. But yeah, just keep on fishing, guys. I'll show you guys some of my better catches. 
And hopefully you guys can um, keep farming and I'll show you guys where I kind of stopped before I had the Emerald. Here we go. We got a rainbow trout in finally 196 bucks, 74 XP. And we still have yet to catch a trophy or unique. Finally caught a trophy here. And it's a trophy Colorado golden trout. $191 guys. 173 XP. We got two green arrows. So even with this setup, it's pretty solid. And look at how gorgeous that trout is. Just like that, on our very first day here in Rocky, we have already leveled up to level 11. We got a bunch of bass jigs. We got some grubs. We got semolina balls, which I thought were level 12, but I guess they're level 11, which means we can now easily go catch uh, the freshwater buffalo or the smallmouth buffalo at Lone Star, which is great. That makes things a lot easier. We got some other stuff here, some lines, some new rods. Uh, we unlocked the feather light, which is cool, casting rods, and we got some new braid as well. We got 1500 bucks and a bait coin as well. But there you go, guys. Level 11 already. We're moving on up. We have a good fight going here with a trout, guys, on the float rod. We're still on day one. We're at 7.8 kilograms of trout so far, and I think one bass. I'm going to hopefully not lose this because I'm talking. But yeah, we're going to go ahead, fill our keep net, and then move on to the next day. I'm going to try and stay here. Uh, probably a little bit longer than I should, but at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal. If you overstay at a place like this, it's not too, too bad. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll go back to Lone Star and see if we can go finish off that, uh, freshwater or smallmouth buffalo challenge just to get the extra bait coins and stuff since we have unlocked semolina balls now. Wow, this fish is putting up a hell of a fight right now. Come on. Oh, you don't want to come in yet? Yeah, this is what I mean by a good fight. It's, a, it's definitely a different experience than just going after bass. Looks like a rainbow. Trophy rainbow. There we go. Perfect. $226, 114 XP. Great money, great XP. We hit level 16 here at Rocky. I did have to leave once just to go get some bait and repair a couple things. But we are pretty much good to go now. Now, the reason why I waited until level 16 is because we unlocked a new stringer. And that's what we're going to be using when we head to Emerald Lake. All right, so we finished our time at Rocky. Level 16, and we got $25,000 with 34 bait coins, which is absolutely perfect. Now, what we're going to go ahead and buy right now at the end of this video, and I will bring this up at the start of the next video, is we're going to go ahead and buy the fish jail. This is level 16, $7,600. Now, the reason why we're buying that is because the, the, the level 15 fish cabin can only hold 25 kilograms and a max weight of 3.5 kilograms of fish. So, we're going to go with the stringer, gain an extra 5 kilograms, be able to hold on to a little bit bigger fish, and that's what we're going to do for now. So go ahead, buy that right now. That leaves us with $17,000 to get enough ready to go to Emerald Lake and farm some walleye. But remember, we're going to be making a lot of money there, so don't worry about spending money now. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode of the No Money Spent series. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.